owed to you. O oh, you, your wooden, wondrous doors, a soothing, calming force, outstretched arms that envelop us in a tight embrace, you with your willing, welcoming face, a living, lasting, loving invitation to partake of God's grace. Yes, you, more than a structure of steel and stone, you are our touchstone. Time and again, you marked every milestone. How much we have grown from hopeful beginnings to bittersweet partings. For generations, every celebration, relentless reminder that we are not alone. Only you, our calm in the midst of the tempest. Every trial, every test, every evil we detest, Always, always, you give our tired souls some rest. You shelter and comfort us. You, our gathering place in a gathering storm. Your wonders never cease. You bring us peace. Simply you, who are gifted to give. You who make our humble service live. You who inspire. You who light the fire to help out those in dire need. Indeed, our spirits you feed with a love like no other. Each and every sister and brother you bring us together. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Now you, calling out, with a silent shout you ask to be heard. You need help to be able to help. Will our blessed brethren heed your call and listen? You are refuge. You are strength. You are sanctuary. Thank you. Santuario de San Antonio.
Good evening. Please join us in praying the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And to conceive by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in our poor death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in our poor dead. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in our poor dead. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be with word of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, the memorial of Saint Dominic. Born in Old Castile, Spain, Dominic was one of the illustrious house of the Guzmans. He was commissioned to be part of the preaching crusade against Albigensian heresy. In 1215, Dominic founded the Order of Preachers, or Dominicans, an elective fraternal form of community life devoted to contemplation, study, and preaching. He also made use of the rosary in achieving converts. Our presider is Father Mar Marlowe Rosales, OFM. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare our souls to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May Saint Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord. And may he, who was an outstanding preacher of your truth, be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. 
on the fifth day of the fourth month of the fifth year, that is of King Jehoiakim's exile, the word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Shebar. There the hand of the Lord came upon me. As I looked, a storm wind came from the north, a huge cloud with flashing fire enveloped in brightness, from the bits of which something gleamed like an electrum. Within it were figures resembling four living creatures that looked like this. Their form was human. Then I heard the sound of their wings, like the roaring of mighty waters, like the voice of the Almighty. When they moved, the sound of the tumult was like the din of an army, and when they stood, stood still, they lowered their wings. Above the firmament over their heads, something like a throne could be seen, looking like sapphire. Upon it was seated up above one who had the appearance of a man. Upward from what resembled his waist, I saw what gleamed like electrum. Downward from what resembled his waist, I saw what looked like fire. He was surrounded with splendor, like the ball which appears in the clouds on a rainy day was the splendor that surrounded him. Such was the vision of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all you, His angels. Praise Him, all you, His hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. And he has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. To honor the Holy Gospel, please rise. God has called you through the Gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. be with you <clears throat> from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew as Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee Jesus said to them the Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him and he will be raised on the third day and they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house, before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, 
What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take toils of, or census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? When he said, from foreigners, Jesus said to him, then the subjects are exempt, but that they may not offend, that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take the fish, the first fish that comes up, open its mouth, and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Give that to them for me and for you. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening. I find this Jesus here in the Gospel a witty and humorous one without offending the norms of their law of their laws during that time on paying tax to the temple to support the upkeep of the temple. I think he has attacked the tax collectors who think always of money out from the uh, coming from the worshippers or those temple goers and like that what was being said about Jesus asked through Peter. Brothers, brothers and sisters, this action of Jesus is telling us that our worship to God should not be hindered by financial concerns. It should not be bothered by any of it. And that even Jesus in his ways here had done it so in a very supernatural way. Thinking about that fish with two coins on his mouth. And I think so he's referring to that tax collector who had his, in his mouth the money maybe in his head. So again, my dear brothers and sisters, for today, in this gospel reading, reading that we have, Jesus is telling us that when we worship God, may we not be hindered by those concerns that are of worldly one, but still we are obligated to support the upkeep of our worship places. As we gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church everywhere on earth may speak without fear about the values of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may share equitably in the world's material and spiritual goods, and that the state and civic organizations may help and protect the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all citizens may have a strong sense of civic responsibility, and that they may actively participate toward the common welfare. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of Christ's love and compassion, especially to the sick and those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, ourselves, in our parish and community, commit to pray for our brothers and sisters in areas ravaged by war, natural calamities, and a COVID pandemic. We beg that they be given the grace to cope to heal, and to be strengthened by their deep faith in our loving God. 
Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace and Families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the kingdom of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer, O Lord, by the intercession of Saint Dominic and through the great power of his sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace those who champion the faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we praise by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day they our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we as forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of Saint Dominic and may your church having flourished by means of his preaching be helped through his intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join us on our seventh day novena to St. Clair of Assisi. Dearest Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise you and the fruits of your grace that manifested themselves in your poor and gracious servant, St. Clair. Through, your, through our intercession, we come to you like little children to ask that you not only grant us the request in our hearts, but also that we may live as St. Clair did in your heart. Blessed St. Clair, we are inspired by your words. Go forth without fear, for he who created you has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Blessed be you, my God, for having created me. Help us to be fearless like you, O St. Clair. Your example of full trust in God and in the Blessed Sacrament as your protection allows us to follow in your footsteps of faith. When your convent was about to be attacked, you placed the Eucharist at the gates, fearlessly prayed, and your attackers left. Show us how to be fearless in our faith as you were, so that we may not fear the suffering in our world today, but instead triumph over it. Glorious St. Clair, from your, from your high place in heaven, take care of us now and our needs. And guide us by your light to heaven. Most holy St. Clair, we strive to be fearless like you. We strive to be saints like you. We strive to follow the divine will. We strive to trust in the providence of God in our lives. Enter our hearts and make us holy. Saint Clair, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. 